Hello everyone. Today we have a beauty video coming your way. This is going to be a kind of like Valentine's inspired makeup look. I did see some really cool inspo on TikTok. I'm not sure how full on I'm going to go because some of it's quite like graphic, I guess you would say, like super intense eye makeup. So I might do it a bit more subtle. I might not. I might copy it. I might not. I don't know. I'll show you the inspo as we go though. So first up, we're going to go through all of my makeup and just pick out a few things to use. So I have my little basket and we are going to collect everything we need today so foundations don't judge i cleaned my room so it's looking all beautiful but um just chucked everything back in drawers so you know declutters are coming i think i'm up to my like highlighters and blushes down here anyway i might use this i love this i haven't used it in a while the clinic even at better clinical and some concealer maybe some kkw brightening powder and I might go all out do some color correcting as well as some Tarte powder and bronzer. I really want to experiment more with the one size powders. I've used them a couple of times like off camera, but I don't think I've really given them a good go on camera. So I'll try them. I'm going for like more of a full coverage today. And then bronzer. I kind of want to give the Dior one another go because I haven't really used it since I bought it for my full face video. Full face of Dior makeup. But I also need something darker than this. Maybe some cream as well that could look good for blush and everything i really don't know what kind of color i want to do maybe a cute light pink could try that out and then maybe we'll just grab another one just in case that one doesn't work out i hope this lighting's okay it's quite dark down here i'm sorry that's a bit better i love the viral deal that's real cute and then highlighter these are all mixed up look at them should we be bougie and do some more dior i don't know Stunning. I don't know. Maybe I'll change my mind, but we'll start with there. So that's a Nabla one. Gonna need some various paints. Some of these are water activated liners. And some various shimmery eyeshadows in like pinky colours. Brows. I'll just grab a few random bits. I'll just grab one just in case. This is the roller liner. Lip pencil. I'm gonna grab a couple of options. These are like the Barbie color pops. And then I did find my Mickey Max one, which I love, which is like my lips but better. Our stashes are starting to fill up. I know this seems backwards, but over here now we've got um, primers and everything. I think I might do some flawless filter because I barely use it, to be honest. Um, and then it's something a little bit more moisturizing. Maybe a little bit of my Banana Bright. I might go into my new drawer to find one of those pink P. Louise palettes. Oh gosh. <laughs> this is really messy. This one is it. Perfect. Oh my god, perfect, perfect. And some lip products. Ooh, I don't know what to use. Maybe a peachy colour, a pinky colour of the P. Louise. I don't know, this is called Semi Nude, I think. That's quite pretty. And then I might just grab another like pinker colour to maybe mix. Sweet experience. Sure. And then I suppose the last thing really to pick would be some lashes. And I'm really, really, really thinking I might use one of my favorite pairs of Stat lashes because I just feel like these are so flirty and perfect for Valentine's Day. So these ones, I don't know if you can read it, are called the T's. There we go. Stunning. I think that is everything we're going to use today. This is extra AF. <laughs> um... You know me. All right, so we have our box of goodies. I'm so excited to use this stuff. I actually love filming these shot my stash videos because I always like pull out things that I haven't used in a while, pull out some favorites, pull out some like random bits and pieces that'll be fun to play with like the eyeliners and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm really hyped about today's makeup. I think I will start with a bit of primer and then slick back the brows ready to go. So I'm saying with the Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Primer. I bought this for my mum for Christmas last year and then this year she was like where do I get it because she's obsessed with it. It's so nice. I love it because it's so glowy. It smells so yum. Oh and by the way right now just a shameless plug again. I have on my XO Beauty Fit 10. It's on my face and on my body. 
It's a couple of days old, but I'll just show you the bottle. It looks like this. My bottle's a little bit dirty because obviously I've been using this. This launched just before Christmas, so you may not have seen it yet, but it is the most beautiful, like, olive kind of, like, undertone tan. I'm obsessed with it, and it actually, like, kind of moisturizes your skin. It doesn't dry out your skin heaps, which I love. So definitely check it out. We've also got like a little bundle as well. It's got jojoba, rosehip, avocado, mamuku, aloe vera, vitamin E, vitamin B5, like heaps of cool ingredients. So I'm so proud of this. I'm in love with it. It took me like over a year to get perfect. <laughs> it was a journey. You guys may have seen some of the like terrible fake tans I had to endure to make sure that it was like perfect. Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. I have not used this tons. Um, by the way, my shade's shade four medium. But I do really like it every time I use it. I feel like I haven't really used it much in videos. I'm going to actually apply it like under my eyes just to help conceal a little bit. Um, you can use this kind of like a foundation as well, I reckon, if you like a real glowy finish. And I'm just going to use an angled face brush to blend this out. I really want a bit of a skin focus today, like really nice flawless skin. See how pretty that is? I'm obsessed with how that looks. And then some of the Brow Freeze by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm so excited to see how this makeup turns out. I've not done like, you know, anything creative in a little while. I've just kind of done like everyday makeup for the past couple months. So this should be fun. And I feel like it'll make me feel better because right now I just feel tired and like flat. I don't feel sad. I'm just like existing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and how can I forget? What the hell? It's because like I would have already told you guys on Instagram by now. But I haven't told you guys on YouTube in case you haven't looked at my Instagram announcement. We announcement? Announcement. Announcement. <laughs> we are having a baby boy. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna pop on my Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation. This is in the shade 52 Neutral. I really like this foundation. I haven't used it on YouTube in a bit, but love it. Anyway, so went into the ultrasound, baby's measuring all good and like, you know, the development of all the arteries and heart and stomach and everything's all looking good. And then she was like, do you want to know what the sex of the baby is? I was like, hell yeah, tell me. And the baby was kind of like rolling around and like <laughs> not being very well behaved, being a bit difficult. But then she was like, it's a boy. And I was so excited, but I was like also in shock because all of a sudden this baby inside of me you know, it's like becoming way more real if that makes sense. Like, I don't know, it just made it all so much more real for Hamish and I and we got into the car and Hamish was like, are you happy? I was like, yes, I'm so happy. And he was like, I'm so happy. And we were just so happy. We did not care if we were having a boy or a girl. Um, Hamish was convinced it was a girl, but he's so happy. It's a little boy, like he's just so sad. He's like, oh my God, like he's already like talking about all the different things and different hobbies, <laughs> like <laughs> all the different things they can do together. It's the sweetest thing, so. Yeah, it's so exciting and I've already picked out like how I want the nursery to look at the new house because at this house I'll have a nursery but it won't be like super cool because the baby will be in my room with me in like a bassinet or something for the first few months probably. Um, so I'll kit out our new house because he will be like six months old or something by then kind of vibes. And I've already picked out like what paint colors I want and like all of these different things. So stay tuned on, you know, my Instagram and vlog channel and stuff for all of that info. And I just can't believe it. Like I'm a boy mum. What the heck? Like, I don't know. It's just so weird to me. And it's exciting for my family too, because we've only really had like baby girls, you know, this will be the first like great grandchild or great grandson, first grandson for a lot of people in our family. So I don't know, it's really exciting. Well, first grandson for, yeah, both of our parents. Anyways, I know some of you guys don't really dig the uh, pregnancy talk, so let's just keep this <laughs> makeup focus from here on out. So this is the Brightening Peach Pixie Concentrate. I'm just adding a little wee bit of that around my eye area. I don't really know if it's going to do much now that I've put foundation under there, but oh well. And then using a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape in Light Sand. I'm not using too much of this. And I'm using my, by the way, flat sponge, the ultra soft one from XO Beauty. These are incredible. Like literally look how squishy they are. They're like the softest things. And taking the shade 2 Brighten KKW Beauty 
what is this even called? I don't know, it's like the under eye powder. Looks like this. I'm going to just set that so that it doesn't crease, hopefully. I'm going to use a shimmer tulip brush and just set that. So what are you guys up to? How's it your, um, you know, year been so far? The first month, I feel like the first month's always a bit weird because you're kind of like on holiday for a little bit, then you're like back to like, you know, work or whatever. I know some of you guys over in the Northern Hemisphere go straight back to school, which is so weird for me because here in New Zealand, kids and teenagers and stuff don't go back to school until like, what is that, like closer to Feb pretty much. Like we get ages off over summer which I guess is like the equivalent of your guys' summer break or spring break or whatever you call it. But yeah, so January over here is like such a chill month. I feel like it's the most chill month of the whole year. We had a good few weeks off, um, which was just so lovely. And I mean, well needed, you know, cause it's gonna be the last proper holiday we get in a little while, having a baby and everything. Soaked up heaps of sun, went swimming every day did some house, you know, clearing out, which is always good just to like reset for the year. Like I've cleaned out like many of the rooms in the house. I've still got a little bit to go, but you know, it's going well. So let me know what you guys have been up to. What are your new year's resolutions? Mine is just to survive. I've stopped told Hamish that he's like, what's your new year's resolution? I said, survival, literally just survival at this stage. Cause I'm about to get a reality check and not much sleep. And I do not do well with not much sleep. <laughs> But I know it's going to be like completely worth it. I'm just like, holy shit, this is going to be yeah, a reality check. <laughs> right, I'm going to pop on a little bit of the cream bronzer. This is an amber by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Looks like this. I'm going to use the bum end of my sponge and just tap on some around my cheeks just to warm up my complexion. This is so pretty. I forgot how much I love this. I used it in a video at the end of last year sometime. And I was like, holy shit, it's beautiful. It reminds me of like the hula caramel kind of undertone. But it's a little bit softer, I guess. Like it's not as full on because it's in a cream. And it's just stunning. Like look at that. It's just so pretty. The packaging is to die for. Like I love like how it's like soft touch kind of lid. And the frosted packaging. It's just so pretty. I don't know. I feel like you guys need to try that if you haven't yet. I suppose we're going to just like set our faces so... I'm going to use the shade Light 4, which is the darker color I've picked up um, of this one size turn up the base powder. I'm just going to set that. And then I actually do have a lighter one as well, which I might use on like the center of my forehead and like around the eyes. This one is the, the shade Fair 3, so I'll use that same brush I used before under my eyes and just kind of like sit around there. I'm working on some setting spray this week, so beauty. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of that on. So this is like the more moisturizing one. Oh, that feels so good. I'm just gonna let that soak in a little bit. Um, I guess we'll like start on our brows and eye makeup and then come back to the face. So I do have the Stack em Up Bank of P. Louise. Sh what is that? Shmoney. No, money, money, money coin. I don't even know. This is the one thing I find about P. Louise. Like, I love like how it all looks, but I get so confused with what the actual name of the product is. I don't know. I'll find it and link it for you guys down below. I have a discount code as well with P. Louise. So check them out if you would like to. But I just really love a couple of these colors, like that baby pink, that shimmer as well. It looks so cool. These brighter colors. So let me show you like the kind of inspo we have today. I found this picture or video rather TikTok from Sour and Nasty on TikTok. Look how pretty, oh my god, focus please. Like these little love hearts with like a shimmer vibe in the middle. Um, so that kind of vibe looks stunning. And then this one by Princess Hope X, I think, Princess Hope X. Loved that vibe as well, which was more of like a just graphic liner and ombre kind of makeup look. And then I loved this one by Makeup Shayla, which was more of a smoky eye. Like that is just to die for, especially on her skin tone. Like it's just absolutely stunning. I think I'll just wing it a little bit. Maybe I'll start with my brows because I'm panicking a little. I have this P. Louise Oh So Browtiful. This is like the light blonde one. I'm just gonna kind of like fill in any gaps on the lower part of the brow. I'm actually gonna take my spoolie and just kind of Recomb them out because they got a little bit messed up when I did my base. I love the like 
brow laminated look and so does Hamish so naturally for a Valentine's look I'ma do it he loves like soft shimmers and stuff like that too not like it matters like you know what people or what boyfriends like or husbands like but at the same time like it's Valentine's Day and I want to do something that I know he loves as well because Hamish is the type of dude who actually like takes notice of my makeup and the effort that I put into it and he always compliments it and he definitely has like favorite looks as well you guys know like the inner corner shimmer I've always said that that color is really good like the brow pencil I really like that I feel like I've picked a lot of P. Louise stuff up today out of my collection which is interesting so I don't think I'm going to bother priming my eyelids. I'm literally just going to go in with some colours. So I think first we will start with Investment, which is the Baby Pink. If you don't have this palette, if you want to recreate this look, by all means just use whatever pink tones you own already. This colour is so cool. Look at that. Have you guys been watching Euphoria as well? What do you think so far? I feel like the first episode was the best one so far. No spoilers though, guys. So I'm kind of putting it in like the first part of the crease, leaving the middle and then putting some on the edges. Actually, I might even wing it out a little bit towards my like temple almost. And then I'm going to take a little tiny bit of interest, which is this one in the corner. It's quite bright, but not quite as like purpley as the one next to it. And I'm just going to kind of put that into where the crease is a little bit. Just add a little bit more dimension. And I want this to still look soft. Like the intention is not to have like really bold pink eyes in terms of the eyeshadow. Because I think if we add some of those little hearts like that'll be the main part. I don't want it to be too intense. And then just buff it up. Just whatever. Like it doesn't have to look perfect. I'm going to take a little bit of dollar sign from this palette because it just looks too cool not to try. I'm just going to use it on an eyeshadow brush. And let's pray I don't regret this. Looks very duochrome. Oh my god, not nah, that's cool. Just kind of popping that on the ball of my eye. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of fallout from this colour, but that's okay. We'll just dust it off. That colour's so cool. Very happy I committed. It's very like Valentine's in my opinion. <laughs> Look how nice and like glowy my skin looks after that mist as well. Like I'm really enjoying it. This is the Eye Glisten by Revolution and it's like the pinky one. So I'm going to use the shimmery side and just add a little bit more just glitteriness. That looks so pretty. Okay, I'm really happy with how this is coming along. Don't know if we're going to do any eyeshadow on the bottom lashes just yet. Oh, actually... There was a colour I had my eye on this rich energy, this kind of like dusty rose. Maybe I'll mix that with whatever's left on my brush. This is a um, Tulip Crease brush as well. And I might just add this underneath because it's kind of a little bit more neutral. Not neutral, but you know, compared to the others. And it looks crazy right now, but I think it'll look really nice once we've got our lashes on and everything. Mascara. Yeah, I feel like that just kind of finished it off a little bit better. Okay, now the next step is to add all the little hearts. I'm nervous. So I have a variation of different like colors by P. Louise and I also have the Retro Liners by Glam Vice as well. So I'll just tell you what I'm using as I go. I'm gonna start with the lightest color which is called Extra Spicy. Yeah, it is Extra Spicy. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it's like the super soft, soft, soft pink which I think will look so pretty. So I'm gonna do some kind of varied shaped hearts and I mean attempt to oh god I'm nervous so you're definitely gonna want a really thin like liner style brush to do this step this is the vegan eyeliner brush and you can almost just do like a little V I hope I can like get this on camera for you guys because I feel like I'm gonna go out of frame I mean that's kind of cute right does that look like a love heart I think just don't mess around with them too much because then they'll just get bigger and bigger. So I'm just going to like commit, okay? I'm going to do a tiny one out here. Like, oh, that's kind of cute. Okay, I'm happy. Oh my gosh, can you see? To be honest, this color almost looks white. Um, she's also put them like on the inner part of the eye. Oh my god, I'm doing it. And it's kind of cute. Oh, this one's a bit weird. Okay, 
I'm gonna do this on the other eye and then I'll come back and show you the next layer. Next up we're using a base by P. Louise. This is Winter Rose. Technically you put eyeshadow on top of it, but I'm hoping it'll just look good without. <laughs> this color I'm kind of intending for it to be a little bit brighter, but it's still kind of subtle because it kind of still blends in with those eyeshadows we used, if you know what I mean. This formula definitely isn't as good as the other one to draw with, but it should still look alright. It's just not as like opaque, I guess. I might just do like one on the inner. That one just looks like a big blob, but oh well. We'll do a couple of brighter ones. I don't want to quite go this bright, so I'm going to mix these two liners together. This is Peaches and Cream, and this is Roller Skate. Sorry, you can't even see the colors. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's see how these turn out. You just mix them with a little bit of water. This actually isn't very hard either, to be honest. If you're like me and a bit scared of some graphic things. Okay, I've just mixed the two together. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Let's wing it. Might start overlapping a little bit. I'm trying to keep these ones small. I think it looks cute. Okay, I was a little bit unsure about this colour at first, but I think it is cute. Hold on, let me darken this a little bit. I feel like the exposure is way too bright again. The weather outside is like doing weird things. There we go. Those are like more realistic colours. I might just do like another little baby one over here. I need to just stop because I feel like now I'm starting to ruin it. Classic. You know what? I do have this peace and love color that I pulled out when we did our little shop our stash moment. This color I feel like would look so pretty just along the lash line. So you know what? We're going to do it. I think I'll just like leave it without the wing because I feel like if I do a wing I'm just going to end up covering some of those little love hearts and it'll just look awkward. This is a winged liner brush by the way. It's real easy to use to get a nice winged liner. That is such a pretty colour. So happy I did that. I love that colour. This is just looking too cute. Like even though it's not perfect it still just looks so cute. That's the thing I always encourage you guys. Like, even if you are doing something out of your comfort zone, like, just give it a go. Because even if it's not perfect, like, it just still looks so effective and so cute. Like, and you can only get better with practice. So just give it a go. See, Sarah Nasty did, like, red vibes as well, which looks so cute. But I'm just keeping mine a little bit softer. But that's another option. And she did no eyeliner or anything. I'm going to put my black eyeliner away because I'm definitely not doing black eyeliner. These lashes do have a black lash band, but I'm just going to apply them real close to my natural lashes um, and just, yeah, do it that way. So there'll be a black line, but it'll be very small. <laughs> if you don't feel comfortable doing that, like if you feel like you're screwed up, just do a little bit of black eyeliner. Um, first mascara though, the Legit Lashes by Huda Beauty. Doesn't have to be perfect since we're putting on lashes on top. Yay! Oh my god, I feel so excited about makeup again right now. One of the best ways, if you have a bit of makeup and you find yourself just using the same stuff all the time and just feeling a bit uninspired, like one of the best ways to find that inspiration again is literally just do a shop your stash. You don't have to have as much as me, but even just go to the back of your drawers where like you've got stuff that you never use, colors you never use, textures you never use. Just grab a few of them, challenge yourself to use them all in one look and just see how your makeup comes out. I promise you, like it'll make you feel creative and inspired again. Um, here's a before and after. I added a little bit of black track by MAC just in my tie line as well just to tidy it all up um, but I think it looks pretty good. This lash was a little bit of a arch. I feel like it's not stuck on perfectly but she'll be right. Oh shit I've just smudged stuff everywhere. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel and Espresso that I shopped in my stash and this will just add a bit more colour. I love this color so much. It's like one of my favorite brow products just purely because the color is just perfect. Any bits that I got on my skin, you can kind of see a little bit of product. I'm just going to leave it and then brush it off with this bully once it's dry. All right, let's do a little bit more bronzer. So I also have this Dior Skin Mineral Nude Bronze Shade 4. I'm just going to swirl my little shimmer tulip brush again into this. I'm using this brush for lots of different things today. 
just going to kind of intensify where that bronzer was earlier. I feel like this is quite a light kind of colour, but it will just help to warm up my skin a little bit more, which I love. Down the nose. It's really nice on the nose actually because it's not too full on. A little bit under the lip. I'm actually just going to go back into the eyeshadow palette and just intensify the shimmer colour on my lid because I just love it that much. It's so pretty. I would use my finger just to like pack it on, but I don't trust myself not to like completely mess up my work. I'll get it everywhere if I use my finger. This colour is literally just everything and more. It's so cool. This bronzer by the way looks so smooth. Okay, I'm excited for this next step. <gasps> this 3 Concept Eyes Style Nanda Blush Cushion. This is in the shade Pink. So very simple. <laughs> it's got the little puff and mirror. And then oof, here's the colour. Oh my god I'm obsessed. And hopefully it applies nicely on top of my powder. So let's go. It's very liquidy. Very soft pink. Which is kind of what I wanted today anyway. And then I'll layer some of that dual one on top, I reckon. I'll just do one layer first and just see how this looks. I might add another. I still want it to go funny because it's like super liquidy. It's definitely more of a liquid than a cream. Obviously, it's in like a cushion. I think this would look nice if I was a bit paler too. But it does give me like a nice little glow, I think. But you can still see it. It's just subtle. Ooh, I'm excited to try the other colours. I picked up like five different colours, so... Yeah, this is the only pink one. The others are like oranges and corals and stuff, so it could be fun. I like the texture of it. I like the formula of it. It didn't go weird on top of my powders, which is 10 out of 10. It's just that the colour's obviously a little bit pale for me right now, but it's still cute. Rosy glow. Because I think this will just finish it off beautifully. Ooh, yeah, there we go. That looks neon because it's kind of like sticking to the other product. I just use as a base. I kind of dig it. Cute. And then my highlighter I've chosen is Amnesia Skin Glazing by Nabla. Hopefully this colour looks good with everything else I've chosen. <laughs> I'm using my favourite highlighter brush which is the Detail Face Brush. So it's nice and small and good to get into those smaller crevices of the face. Or highlighting cheekbones and things. I think that looks nice. And I might apply this also just on my... Um, why is my lighting? That's why my lighting. So I've had my light in the wrong direction this whole video. Love that for me. Might put this on my brow bone as well as what I was saying. Hear the rain. This weather today cannot make up its mind on what to do. Undertone on this colour. It's like golden. So it looks nice with like the warm bronzer and everything I've used. Because I was going to use like the pink. Because I was obsessed with it. The one on my eyelid as a brow bone highlight, but I just thought it might be a bit too much. This is much more subtle. And all we have, whoa, I've got a new tripod and it's like uber wobbly. Um, all I need to do now is lips. So, I'm sure I got another lipstick out. I've got the MAC one here. Didn't I grab like a P. Louise? Oh, I did. Okay, I put it back because I thought it was one of the paints. So, we're going to use these in some which way. Might use this Barbie ColourPop Golden Beach. This is a lip pencil. Oh my god, the rain. I'm so sorry. I feel like my makeup tutorials are so hectic all the time. Like there's always like weird lighting, weird noises, dogs barking, me just being stupid, like forgetting everything. I have to go pick up my dog from the vet today looking like this too. They're gonna be like, wow, this girl's extra. And then I'm gonna try on a little bit of it this um, P. Louise Semi Nude, is that what this colour is? The lip paint thing, lip base. Once again, I can't tell what the shade name is. Just putting a little bit on the inner rim. <laughs> rim, I hate that word. I will just try on a little bit of pink on top. This is the Sweet Experience by MAC. I think this was limited edition. Just a little bit. Just for a fun pop of like, I don't know, pastel pink. And then just for a little bit of shine, I'm going to use my Lip Val and Roses by Exo Beauty. You can still get this. ExoBeautyShop.com. Just a little bit on the centre. Look at that difference. It just really like, I don't know, makes everything pop. And it's also moisturising, which is a bonus because my lips are so dry right now. My skin looks all glowy, which I just love and I think is perfect for Valentine's Day because it's just, I don't know, just so fresh looking. 
I love the pink blush, like the cheeks. Just, oh. I just feel like everything worked together so well. There was like no fails today, which I just, I love for that because you know me and my luck, I usually have some fails. I just feel like all the products just melted together. The bronzer, the blush, highlighter, foundation, lip combination is just 10 out of 10. Like how stunning is that color? The brows look good. Just everything. The eye makeup is so fun. It, once again, it's not perfect. You zoom in. This is not perfect. But you know what? Like it still just looks cute and fun and... I don't, it was so easy to be honest. If you enjoyed the look, give it a thumbs up so I know. And I will talk to you guys in my next video, which, yeah, like I said, is probably going to be a full face of first impressions because I've got that much stuff that I have not used yet and not tried yet. And I know you guys love those. So stay tuned. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.